Hey guys, ADHD here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this awesome fast food, like, combo house. I don't really know what to call it. At first it was going to be just a cheeseburger house. I thought that was pretty cool. But then I wanted to build some fries, then I got the soda, and then I just started to realize I was just hungry. Well... I already built it though. So <laughs> I got something to eat and then I made this. So I finished making this. So we're going to start on this right now. I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this block for block so you can put it in your world. I'm going to be going step by step with you guys. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and please hit that like button. But let's go. All right, guys. So getting started, we're going to start with our oak wood plank and we're going to make a big circle for our burger and then start from there. So starting off, we're going to do a row of seven oak wood planks just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonal to the right, a total of one, and then straight to the right, one. Then we'll do the exact same thing right here. Boom, and then boom. So it should be seven, then diagonal up two, then diagonal up two, and then you're going to go diagonal to the right, a total of four blocks, guys. So one, two, three, and four. And on that fourth block, you're going to go ahead and go straight forward one block, just like that. Then go diagonal to the right one. And then from that one, you're going to add straight one, just like this. So we basically went from our two, we did a three, and then two, and then two. And then from here, you're going to go diagonal to the right. And then from here, you're going to go all the way that way, a total of seven blocks, just like we did the start. So one, two, three, four five, six, and seven. So basically all we did was mimic. So we went from seven to two to two to one, 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 then two, two, then seven. So it's the same thing. It's just, we just did like a quarter of it kind of. So now we're gonna do the other side of it. Let's go ahead and keep on going. So on this side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go diagonal that way with two sets of two. So diagonal inside to the left one, then go straight up one. Then the same thing again, going this way, one, then up one. Then you're gonna go diagonal a total of four. One, two, three, and four. Then when you do this one, you're gonna go straight to the left, one, to add our two here. Then we're gonna do another diagonal two, just one, and then one next to that. And then we're gonna go diagonal up again, and then from here, we're gonna go to the left, a total of seven, just so we did at our start. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven just like that so it should match up perfectly with that side as you can see over there if you look it's the exact same thing so now we have one little last piece left to go so let's go ahead and keep doing that and from there it gets a lot easier so starting on this side right here on the left side we're going to go in one with diagonal into the left one then go in to or uh, down left to the one with diagonal then to the left one then go diagonal to the left down a total of four one two three four and on this one, we're going to go ahead and go straight down one. Then we're going to go diagonal to the left again. And then go down one. Then diagonal to the left again. And then from here, we're going to go down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And this side should match up with that side, which it does. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom right now, towards the right, towards that side, with diagonal, and then straight down one. Then diagonal, then straight down one. Then diagonal to the right, a total of four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to go to the right, one diagonal. Or not diagonal, just to the right, one. And then from here, you're going to go to the diagonal to the left, or down to the right. And then add one. And boom, we have a complete circle. So I'll have to go ahead and look from the top, so if you guys want to pause it and make sure yours looks the same. Because if it does, then we can go ahead and get started on making our cheeseburger. Once we have our shape here, it's a lot easier. So here's what we have here to start. Let's move on to the next step. Okay guys, so now for our next step, this is where it really gets easy to be honest. The only part about this burger that's hard is getting the initial shape because then you just kind of go around in circles, around in circles. So what we're gonna do is get back out our oak wood planks and all you're gonna do is come to the front right here and you're gonna go on the block right there and bring it off by one basically. So you're just gonna, it's kind of hard to explain, but just go to our starting point and just place the block, place one in front of that, remove the back one. So now we're off at a diagonal like this. And all we're gonna do now is go around the entire circle we made and basically trace around it exactly. So don't leave anything there that's not supposed to be. So like we're basically making the same exact shape, just one block slightly bigger technically, but it doesn't feel like that because we're literally just tracing it. So right here is a spot where you just put it like that. So you're just basically tracing the exact same build guys. I know it's kind of hard to explain on camera, but you see what I'm doing here? We're making a full ring around it. And you gotta get decent at this, which is not very hard. 
But this is basically all we're doing the whole way. Dang, I just messed up the dirt. Okay, one second. All right, so then all you have to do is just keep going around it just like this, guys. I'm not going to skip ahead for this one just because it's kind of one of those ones I want you guys to see every little bit just to make sure. But it's pretty easy to do. And on the future ones, I'll probably skip ahead in the video and you guys will pause it. But we're almost there. So let me just finish this up and stop rambling. Almost there. And this burger is super easy, guys. Like, it's, like I said, it just circles around and around. It's like, a, you see it's a huge surface area. So you have a lot of living space once you finish this house, too. All right, we're on our last little stretch here. And uh, are we? Oh, wow, we still have a lot left to do. <laughs> so just can fit, finish this up, okay, guys? I'm sorry. I'm, like, trying to talk and keep vocal with you guys. But at the same time, I'm trying to focus because this is, like, one of those buildings you know, right now I'm going a straight line where I can talk of like a full conversation. I'm like trying to make sure I don't mess up the... See, I messed it up. See? Talking around. I got messed up. <laughs> almost there. And are we yet? Yeah, still not there. Okay, almost there. Boom! Okay, so I didn't want to cut that part around because I just wanted to keep it in there for you guys. But I may or may have not had to because it took forever. You know, you know, on the scale of the whole video. We got to try and get this done fast for you guys. So... Next thing we're going to do, guys, is all you're going to do is go around that exact same shape, like, verbatim, though. You're not going to go ahead and do a diagonal this time. You're just going to literally copy the exact same shape you just made. So I'm going to skip ahead right now for this part, but go ahead and pause this video and just add a second layer to what you just did right now. Okay, and once you've done that, now we're going to do the exact same thing with the burger patty, except for it's going to be a one more layer outside of this. So we're going to do the same thing we did in this layer down here. We're going to go and start it out by just bringing it out one row. And now we're going to trace around this circle the same exact way we did that second part of the button, just like this. And this time you guys know what to do, so I'm going to skip ahead in the video right now. But go ahead and pause the video right now and again make an exact tracing outline of the bun we have right now using just our brown concrete, okay? So again, go around this whole thing, guys. Go ahead and pause the video right now and I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and do this. All right, guys, so now we have the bottom part of the burger, but this is no, you know, McDonald's patty, even though it's got a McDonald's kind of cup and, you know, fries. It's going to be like a Carl's Jr. patty or a Five Guys one or in and out It's going to be a big patty. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around that entire thing one more time to just add a little bit of thickness to this meat. So what we're going to go ahead is just go ahead and go around this one more time, the same exact way, guys. So go ahead and pause the video right now. And I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and do this. Okay, guys. So now that we're done with the meat, this is where the hard part comes in. But it's not really that hard. It's just about, like, working it. So as you guys can see, on this next part right here, the lettuce and the cheese and the tomato and, like, the ketchup, this part right here, I had no rhyme or reason. That's why, you guys know, if I do, like, blood splatter, kind of like with the Hero Brian build over there, I always like for everybody to be a little bit different. So I'm going to build it with you guys, but there's no rhyme or reason how I'm doing it. Just kind of placing it there randomly and trying to get something that looks a little bit decent. So... What we're going to do is what I did for mine was I kind of took my lime green. It's the one you're going to use the most of because it's lettuce, clearly. So we're going to just go around this whole thing like this. But you don't want it to be pure lettuce. You want it to go ahead and be like, it's going to be two rows high at some places. So you kind of just want to make it look like, you know, somewhere it comes out like this, somewhere it doesn't. And just kind of build it around just like kind of random. Like, you'll just want to make it look jagged, just like this. So. Again, there's no rhyme or reason, so like I wanted to do, like you guys might want me to do like a complete tutorial on this part, but I didn't even have like a system when I did. I just wanted the lettuce to look random, and you can't control random. You gotta put that in a t-shirt. There's somebody put that in a t-shirt. You can't control random. But as you see, I'm just randomly placing blocks, and we're kind of getting the lettuce feel here. I'm gonna place a few more like this here and there, and then we're gonna go ahead and take some behind here just to add some depth to it. And I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way around. And right here, I'm going to add some cheese. You want the cheese to look like a big block, so we're going to just kind of add this somewhere like this. You know, now I have a little bit of cheese in there like that. Over here, we'll add another piece of cheese coming over to this corner, just like this. Again, this is no, like, system. I'm not looking at any notes or anything. I'm just adding this in a way that kind of just looks, like, decent. So we're going to add that cheese. Maybe we should add the cheese. Maybe the cheese should be a little lower, actually. Let's go ahead and add that cheese a little bit lower. Just like this. I'm not going to skip ahead for this part, guys, because for those that do want to copy me verbatim, you can always just pause the video and, like, watch what I'm doing. But, you know, some people want to do it the way I'm saying. And it's, like, the best way to do it, guys, honestly, is just to go random. I could easily tell you, like, block for block which one you should do. But that's going to just kind of make it not look as good. Because then everybody's burger will look the same. When you put, you know, not every, you know, every piece of lettuce is special. 
And now you gotta treat it like that. So I'm still adding this. I didn't actually add any cheese sticking out of the back because I kind of wanted to make mine after like an advertising cheeseburger where it kind of just like everything is the front to display it the best way possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this guys, but again, go ahead and skip ahead. All I'm doing is just going to basically place these pieces of lettuce like this. When I get done, I'll show you what mine looks like kind of, but again, you're just gonna make it two blocks tall and you're just gonna kind of place it randomly around the whole burger, all right guys? Okay guys, so kind of now you can see what I'm saying a little bit now. I'm not done with mine just yet, but you can kind of get an idea of what I'm saying here hopefully when I get done with this. This is my lettuce. And I prefer to do the lettuce first just because you can always change it after that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this real quick. So if we come to the side here, it kind of looks like a little bit random like this. And I left some places blank, you know, where there could be more lettuce. I'm going to go ahead and add some of those actually real quick. And then you just want to add in random spots with some red for your tomato, you know, like this. And then, you know, close this up a little bit. So now it kind of looks like you have a little bit of, you know, lettuce here, a little bit. We got some more tomato ketchup over here or tomato, whatever you want to call it. Just kind of like that. Uh, maybe even add a little. You just want to balance it out. So I'm going to add a little bit more over here. You just kind of want to look like a well-balanced burger. So now we have the side kind of like that. And that looks pretty good. To be honest, my back side is still a little bit weak. So I'm going to work on that. But this is what the front looks like. And I think it looks pretty dang good. And you're placing it, this is all you literally want to do guys, just kind of add it randomly. I'm adding some red a little bit everywhere just to kind of blend things up a little bit. And wherever I don't want red, I'm adding green. So that way everything looks really filled in and a little bit random, just like a burger would be. So almost done here and then we're going to go on the next part. Okay guys, so now we finished the actual like dressings for the burger. Now we're going to add the next part, which is the top bun, which is super, super easy. This is the hardest part as long as I didn't lettuce. For this bun, what we're going to do is we're going to start in the same exact place we started before and the same, but just like up here. So you want their lettuce and dressings to be two blocks high. And again, you want to follow along with the second bun, the second layer of the second bun, guys. So right here, we're just going to go straight up until we're on the top here. And that's where we're going to be starting. It's basically exactly the same place. So for this top bun, we're going to make the exact same shape. So what we're going to do is take out our oak wood planks again. And again, our starting row is going to be a total of seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Make sure that lines up perfectly so we're at a good starting point. And again, we're making the exact same shape, guys. So again, you see we have two here, two here, then four singles, then two there, two there, and then again. So next, we guys know what we're going to do are two twos. So we're going to go diagonal in and then add one, diagonal in and then add one. Then go straight diagonal for a total of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. But on the fifth one, you're going to add one. You guys have to do. So make sure we just line this up. Check out below on the second button. It's in the exact same place. So we're going to keep going. So we have one more two and then our seven. So we go diagonal in, add one, and then go diagonal out again, and then add a total of seven. So we have one already, two, three four, five, six, and seven. Double check to make sure we're in the same spot. We are all good. Go into the right diagonal, then add one. Into the right diagonal, then add one. Then into the right for a total of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then come straight back out for one diag, or sorry, then just add one straight to that one. Then come straight out for another diagonal, then add one. And then you guys know, as you can double check, make sure it's in the same spot. We have our seven coming up next. So out again, and then do seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then go into the left diagonal. One, two, just like that. Into the left again with our twos. Boom, just like that. And from here, we're gonna go diagonal, total of five. You guys know the drill. One, two, three, four, and five and then add one straight to that just like this then go down to diagonal two boom just like that and then diagonal for our seven row one two three four five six and seven then from here we're going to go diagonal or two diagonals like this we come out one then add one out one then add one then go diagonal straight for five like we always do one two three four and five then I'll add one right there, and then another double diagonal, just like this. 
and boom so now we have our second row of that bun i know that's kind of hard to follow because that's why i hate doing diagonal blocks they're kind of hard to explain but you guys got it i'm sure so now we have our next bun now all we're gonna do is a sec same thing we did in the bottom bun down here we're just a double layer so go around it one more time that shape we just made just like this guys and again guys i know this one's kind of hard to follow because of all the diagonal and you know add one diagonal all that so if you don't understand just feel free to guys to pause it go in slow motion whatever you need to do uh, it's just kind of hard on diagonal blocks to explain exactly what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, anyway guys, I'm going to skip ahead for this, but go ahead and keep going around this, adding a second layer. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do is finish up this hamburger, which is super, super easy. All we're going to do is come in again, diagonal, we're going to go in this time, just like this. And you're going to go around. So, same way we did the burger where we went out one and went around the entire shape. We're doing the same thing except we're going in this time. So, we're just going in just like this so we're gonna go around this entire thing a complete four times actually so what you're gonna do is we're gonna go around this once so go ahead and go around it once and i'll update you guys what we're gonna do next so what we're gonna do is go around this once like i said guys go ahead and pause the video right now i'm gonna skip ahead but pause the video and go around the inside layer of this once just tracing it okay guys once you've went around it one time you kind of get the concept but things are a little bit different so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna do that same thing we just did go inside another layer and trace around this but what we're gonna do guys is I need you guys to do it three times three more times so all you're gonna do is we did one and then you're gonna do it again like this the second time you're just gonna keep going in one row three more times this is our first one then go around it again a second time and then a third time until this right here is four rows high just like this so I'm gonna skip ahead guys right now and do this but again go around the inside layers a total of three more additional times guys just like this just following around the entire shape all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and pause or skip ahead we're going to pause the video right now and go ahead and do this okay guys now we have a burger going there so it should look like this on top so like i said all we did was go around the inside over and over again so we got to that tall and the top should be open and right now this is where you decide if you want a sunroof or if you just want to close it up and i actually am going to go ahead and close mine up so it looks more like just a burger but if you want to go ahead and add a sunroof, you can because this is going to be a house eventually. So look how much room we have. We have a lot. You can like divide it straight into four pieces if you wanted to. Ever you want to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and close mine up. So decide what you guys want to do. If you want to make a sunroof out of this, so you have a lot of natural light coming in. All you're going to do is go ahead and use some glass to cover the top of this. But if you're like me and you just want it to look like a regular old burger, I'm going to go ahead and cover the top up. So again, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. But pause this video right now and go ahead and fill this in with whatever you're going to use for this okay guys and once you finish that burger all you're gonna do now is go ahead and take out your birch wood planks and just start removing random blocks and replacing them with the birch planks this is just so it kind of looks like some sesame seeds I'm just like again there's no like shape to it I'm just randomly placing it again just to kind of differentiate yours between everybody else who does this video you can go ahead and have your own personal burger because your sesame seeds are like its own variant so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep adding these just like this and just remove a few of them randomly and that's pretty much all we're gonna do here so I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead but go ahead and just kind of replace random blocks right now with your old birch planks okay guys okay guys and once you've done that now we have a nice looking burger if you ask me so it looks freaking awesome I think it's like just a cool looking burger one of the coolest ones I've ever seen in Minecraft so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and do the fries which is super super easy we're just gonna need our red concrete yellow concrete and also some more of the oak wood planks so let's go ahead and get started on that so what we're gonna do is now guys is we're gonna go ahead and find a place just kind of like you know a little bit close to the burger but not too close and kind of in the middle because our shake is gonna go over there so just kind of somewhere in this general area you see how far I am we're gonna go ahead and do a row of seven red concrete coming backwards so just like this so one two three four five six and seven just like that all right, and then on top of that, do the same exact thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in diagonal row in the back here, guys, just like this with one red. And we're gonna go ahead and do a total of six. That's one already. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, just like this. So it should be one block off of the outside row, just like that, guys. And we're gonna go ahead and work back and forward like this all the way to the other side, guys. So the next row is one red concrete, two yellow concrete one two one red concrete then one yellow concrete then one red concrete next row is going to be two or three red concrete one two 
three, then one yellow concrete, then two red concrete. One, one, two. Next row is gonna be one yellow red concrete, two yellow concrete, one, two, one red concrete, then one yellow concrete, then one red concrete. Then the next row is gonna be a full row of red concrete. Then all we're gonna do is go straight down to the floor and make another row of seven. This is the same set length as this side over here. And just do it one more time so they match up. And then we're just coming in the back right here and just close this bottom off. And then boom, we have a little of McDonald's slash uh, Minecraft uh, little french fry holder. Then what I want you guys to do is go ahead and get your birch planks or birch wood planks and go ahead and do one row on the bottom here and then another row that's on top and then bring that row out right here by one on the left side, out by one on this side right here, this second, this third block, then out by two right here, one, two, then out by one right here. So just go ahead and take a look at that one more time. Then in that opening, I want you to bring this one out by two, one, two, and then right below this, these three, bring out one. And then over here, we're just gonna place a random fry kind of like this, just boom, boom. And then one like longer fry right here, and boom, now we have our french fries, which looks pretty good. And now for the last thing, which is our milkshake slash soda, which is pretty easy as well. So let's go ahead and get started on that. The burger's the hardest part. The burger's not really that hard. It's just kind of hard to tutorial because you have to explain all those diagonal blocks <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and get started on the shake all we're gonna need for that is some yellow concrete so we're gonna move those closer yellow concrete and white concrete red concrete for the straw and then we're gonna need this white stained glass in order to make that little foggy like plastic you normally put on top of your sodas so let's go ahead and get started on the shake Okay guys, so for the soda slash milkshake, go ahead and go to the fries, just count diagonal to the right that way. It's a little like eight blocks, just to get some distance. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just so we have a little bit of distance from the fries. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then right on the ninth block, that's where we're probably gonna make our shake. Yep, that's perfect. So what you're gonna do for the shake, guys, is all you're gonna do is do a row of five white concrete. One, two, three, and four, and five, just like this. And on the left side, we're going to go to the left diagonal, a total of three, guys. So one, two, three. On that third block, go ahead and bring it forward, a total of four. One, two, three, four. Then go diagonal to the right, a total of three. One, two, three. Then pull that one that way, a total of four. One, two, three, four. Then go into the right diagonal, a total of three. One, two, three. Bring that one a total of four. One, two, three, four. Then go diagonal till we connect right there with two diagonal, just like this. Perfect, so we have our full circle. I'll go ahead and take a look up here so you can take a look at it if you need to pause and copy that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up a total of 10 blocks right here in our starting block, or sorry, nine blocks, guys, from our starting point right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we're a total of 10 from the floor. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take all of these, this whole circle, all the way up to the same exact height. So you're just gonna just literally just get the white concrete and just take it all the way up until you get to the same exact height as that 10 we just stacked right now. Cause that's how tall the first layer of the McDonald's cup or Minecraft uh, fast food cup is. I don't wanna keep saying the McDonald's brand. So just like this guys, I'm gonna pause the, skip ahead you guys, pause the video right now and fill the rest of the circle in. Okay guys, so for the next part of the shake slash uh, soda, all we're gonna do is get out our yellow concrete. And the same way we did that burger, we're gonna go on the outside ring and go around this one time with our yellow, just like this. So literally tracing the cup yet again with our yellow though. So I'm not gonna skip ahead for this one, this one's gonna be a lot shorter, but it's the same thing. So it's a lot of just going around circles over and over again, uh, but it can be a little bit confusing especially for me to try and explain what exactly is happening here um, I feel like I know you guys you guys get it it's pretty easy you guys are pretty great builders so you know it's like I know you guys I trust you guys that know what I'm talking about but it's kind of hard for me sometimes to figure out how to say diagonal directions but I figure it out so right there that's the yellow concrete so now what you're gonna do same thing we did down here you're gonna go up a total of 10 from the yellow though so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so now we're at 10 blocks high. You're gonna go around the entire yellow ring the exact same way. So for this, I am gonna skip ahead for. So go ahead and pause the video right now and take this whole yellow ring up until it's to this height using the white concrete though, not the yellow. 
Okay guys, and once you've done that, go ahead and get out your white stained glass. And you're just gonna go ahead and go across the entire top of the lid now with the white stained glass just to go ahead and create our lid. And you guys know this lid, you know, this is a, the lid that you always get on every soda, any fast food place. It has the little like three dots on it you can press and then like decide whose drink is whose. I really don't know if that's the purpose of that thing. I don't know if anybody knows the purpose of this, those buttons at the top of the lid. But if you do, let me know down below in the comments if you know the actual purpose of those buttons on the lid. I think they're just so you can know which drink is which, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, so once you have that done, guys, now we're going to go ahead and add our little creeper decal on the cup. And all you're going to do for that is go ahead and find the front here and find these three center blocks on the glass we just made. And go to the left one and go down by three blocks. One, two, three. Remove that block. Go to the right two. One, two. Remove that block. Then go diagonal from there. Remove this block. Then go straight down and remove that block. Remove the one to the left of that and the right of that and move one down on both sides just like that and then go ahead and replace that with yellow concrete and now we just create our little mcdonald's logo here out of the creeper's face just like that and then now we're gonna go ahead and add our straw which is super super easy too it's just like you know it just looks weird so that's gonna be with just red concrete and all we're gonna do is find wherever you want to place your straw i'm gonna place mine oh Let's place it like centered kind of, which is right here. It's not perfectly centered, but it's kind of centered. I think center would be like right here, somewhere like that. It's not gonna be perfectly centered, but like that, a row of three, just like this guys, go up by, I don't know, eight, like nine, maybe actually nine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's go ahead and do actually eight. Sorry guys, it's just like that. So eight, and then do this one on the same exact thing. Just do it all the way on all three of these. It's three thick. Then you're going to go up diagonal out like this and you're going to do that for five rows. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So there we go. Now we have our bendy straw right there just like that. And that looks freaking awesome. So now or actually what we should probably do is also replace the glass under that just so the straw doesn't look like it's just kind of floating there magically. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. And then boom, now it looks real good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I kind of think you should do for the interior. But we are actually done with the actual, like, you know, combo here. So give yourself a pat on the back. But let me show you guys what I think you should do on the interior. Okay, guys, so as you guys know, if you've been here for a while, I only do the interior if you guys really, really want to see it. So if you guys want to see the interior, let me know down below. But here's what I would probably do I'd go ahead and go for like kind of like an in and out vibe where their like restaurant is like, you know, uh, white and red. I'd do a red concrete around the entire trim here. And then I would do some like block of quartz on the complete inside. So that way it has like a red and white floor. And then I'd make like some booths along the side, kind of make it like a restaurant house. So like a restaurant themed house. I think that would be really cool. Add a big chandelier in the middle here for lighting. You could add a lot of space. You could even make this like easily like three stories if you wanted to. Or if anything, I'd say divide it by the lettuce. So like as soon as the lettuce starts, this could be your second floor. You could even segregate the house into like three. Like you come in right here and then it's just like four hall, like a, a hallway that has an X in it. So that way there's four different triangular rooms. There's a lot of stuff you could do guys with that. And the best part is you just, you're not limited for space either because if you want to have like a guest house or something like that, boom, we got Mr. Shake right here. So we just go ahead and come in here and boom, you can add a whole like two story guest house right here out of these shakes with an awesome sunroof too, out of this shake that would be freaking sweet. So that's what I recommend you guys do. And then with the, the fries, you really can't do too much. I mean, you can make like a door in here and this could be like your little like, um, diamonds like storage area or something like that it's about all you can really do in that little space but that is actually it guys if you guys want to see more full-length tutorials let me know down below but as, as far as this outside goes guys it is actually finished one of my favorite builds i've done in a while i hope you guys enjoyed that if you're new here make sure you subscribe i build crazy builds all the time as you guys can tell so i'm gonna be adding a bunch i add some like every other day basically there's a new tutorial so please subscribe hit the like button but as always i will see you beautiful people in the next video. Adios.